hi just come welcome back to your channel so today is a teacher get ready with me video and i do know i do know okay i do know that i look like someone's auntie but don't worry we're gonna do a soft glam because i'm on my way to work and i'm not about to do a whole beat face you know for work like for what okay so i have my mirror right here i hope you guys can see from here right here i'll be looking here but before we get started don't forget to give it a thumbs up and guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because i realized that a lot of you guys are watching my videos and are not subscribed like come on what are you waiting for bro what are you waiting for sis come on hit that subscribe button down below and also don't forget to follow me on my social media platform that's instagram twitter and snapchat i just don't allow you also be listed in the description box down below for your convenience and also don't forget to basically telling me what type of video you guys would like to film because sometimes I run out of ideas like I mentioned before and you guys you know sending me videos ideas is really helpful. So yeah, um now we're gonna be talking about you know live relationships here on here on YouTube. Technically I'm doing this quick chit chat get ready with me talking about um YouTube drama and as far as couples, okay? You know, so yeah, let's get started. I'm not gonna be telling you guys what the products are, you know, because I'm gonna be talking. Um, so yeah, let me first start with my primer. You guys already know if you guys have been following me for a while. You guys know for as far as my um, primer for um, everyday look or just quick bit, you know, for quick runs. I like using the Money Stack Complete Care Shaping Relief. It's at CVS. It's actually not a primer. It's actually for some, something for your private area for women. So I use this because it's really like it really mattifies your skin. So that's what I use as a primer when I do, do, do my everyday um, makeup look. Then, yeah. So if you, unless you have been living under a rock, you know what has been happening here on YouTube with all these couples and you know, drama and stuff like that. So. As far as I know, you know, um, as far as I know, like I said, I know, okay, not that you guys should believe what I know or what I think I know, I feel like some of them are just for views, period, like, I don't care about how you guys feel or what you guys think, but I feel like some of them are for views, and then I will explain myself as far as what couples I think that are for views, okay, um, Let's start with the Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash. That's his name. Let me check my phone because I got I got it right here. Yeah, let's start with them. Okay. Let's all be honest, you know. Let's all be honest. We um everyone has an insecurity. We all do. Like there's something about you. If you say you don't, then you're a damn liar. But there's something about you that, you know, when someone talks about it makes you feel uncomfortable, which is perfectly fine. Like, we are human. <laughs> That's part of us. You know, deal with it. But, um, uh, Trisha said hers was her weight, which she has talked about in a couple of her videos. You know? And, um, I personally feel like they're doing it for, for views, publicity stunt, because, girl, you even had a freaking liposuction, I believe. And you sit most of your videos are mukbangs like how do you plan on losing weight when that's all you do you know and i also feel like her boyfriend um did not really you know like what he said wasn't really that serious for her to like feel like he's like m making fun of her body or calling her fat or whatever the case is like you are the one in that skin so you are the one that know how you feel if you feel like you're fat then oh hell you yeah. are then that's what it is you know if you feel like you know you're thick nigga you're thick if you feel like you know like um you're skinny you're skinny like i always tell people you all start with how you see yourself you know so i feel like her saying the man called her fat and he's always commenting on the, her food or her portion or what she wants to eat or whatever the case is. And all that. I feel like that's her personal demons that she's fighting with. Because, you know, that's how she feels. She's probably insecure. And, you know, now that the guy mentioned something, she feels like he, you know, called her fat and whatnot. So I feel like she created all that drama just for 
the attention she's getting now. That's my opinion. I can, if you guys are her fans, yeah, I can disagree with me in the comment section. We can chat, we can talk. Um, you know, I'm open to talk with you guys. So yeah, and I feel like, you know, the man himself knows that, you know, she's just being over dramatic. That's why I watched one of her live videos where she mentioned that the guy, like, doesn't even want to, like, um, go back with her and stuff that she knows she really messed up. Like, girl, yeah, she did. You were probably so thirsty for them views. You just had to, like, do that whole video crying and stuff. And what I don't understand is the fact that she mentioned that, oh, I'm, I'm going to take a break from social media. I'm not going to be here for a while and stuff like that. Tell me why in the next two days, like, right after she said that couple hours later she posted a video the next day she posted another video the day after that she posted another video and then she on, she was titled, titling those videos like you know proving that i'm not a liar because he actually had a response to her video you know proving that i'm not a liar or the other one was like you know him calling me fat you know things like that i'm like girl you said you're taking a break just post your video he answered oh well just let it be and just you know do you you see, we're going to take a break from YouTube. What is it? Now you're posting more. And now you have a lot of traffic on your channel because of, you know, this whole drama going on with you and your man. And now you feel like he doesn't want to talk to you or he doesn't want to hear anything. Like, he's, if he's really, that's really what he's doing, you guys are not just faking it, then he's damn right, you know. This doesn't want to come out. <laughs> but it's actually a lot in there. I just haven't used this foundation in a while. I'm scared it's gonna come a lot, but um, use his hand. But um, yeah, that that drama. I feel like yeah. See, not a lot is coming out. That drama. I personally feel like you know she just did it for reviews and stuff like that. So that's that. The next couple we're gonna be talking about is Chris and Parker. Okay. Them. I just knew that it wouldn't last. So I don't even know. What you think for their relationship as far as is it a publicity, publicity stunt or you know are they actually broken up but knowing Chris and the way he's you know careless and you know he's about you know him if they probably did broke up he's he's still gonna do him and get more girls so I kind of I don't know what you think about that part you know cuz like I told you guys before I don't pick side like I don't know if these people in real life you know, we see what they want us to see at the end of the day, so you cannot believe everything you see on YouTube, you know, on videos, because you're not with them most of the time when they're living their life. You know, she can be saying that she's not with him anymore on camera, and all you know is she's turning right back sleeping in his bed, you know. So that one, I don't know what to think, if it's for publicity or not. But I still feel as though even if you're not, they're not together, just give Chris a couple more weeks. He will be showing you that showing you guys a new chick. So yeah, I feel like they will go back together though. Cause like no one knew about Parker again until like her and Chris started talking again. So everybody forgot about her from every from um family family something about my fam that, that 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 TV show she was on. I forgot the name. Cause yeah, it was a while ago. Like I said, people forgot about her. Um, that's that for that drama. So, the next couple I'll be talking about actually, a couple that I really admired and I loved here on YouTube. So, them like going through this breakup thing actually like affecting me in a way because I actually like them together. It's um, Simply Nessa and her boyfriend, y'all. There we go, that's his name. So, um, I feel bad for her because. Now when you look at things, you know, you can kind of actually see that the guy was using her and all the proofs and people coming up, you know, talking about he has done that to them before. If you guys haven't watched it yet, there's a girl that came up and said he did that to her before. And, you know, she even had like, um, she even had proofs, you know, on her page, videos of her and y'all, you know, making, doing videos together, you know, showing that, you know. That was a proof showing that she does know who he is. So, on that end, I feel sad because Simpsonessa seems, seems like a pretty nice person, but I feel like she has been painted like a bad guy lately. I mean, by a lot of other YouTubers. 
but I feel like she's a nice person as well. You know, just the way she carries herself and the way she talks, she just end up in, in drama. But I feel like personally, like in real life, she's not a bad person at all. So yeah, for that one, I feel bad for her because she has been used and oh shoot. I feel bad for her because she has been used again because if you guys don't know her last relationship she was used to so um yeah I feel bad for her on that part and uh what other couple are we gonna talk about um Quinn and Clarence oh my gosh I just found them so cute like now this is not teen no more this is not drama no more like I find them so, um, Quinn and Clarence are just so cute. Like, I feel like, um, that a thing, if, you know, officially, but they just don't want to put it out there yet, you know? Which is a great thing. Look at Chris, like, showing up with Parker up and down. Now where is he at? Where is she at? You know? You know, I feel like social media really messes up a lot of couples. That's something, like, if you are like a YouTuber or Instagram person, you gotta be very careful with how much information you put out here with your with your partner. You know, um, especially if both of you guys are doing social media things, you know, like posting on YouTube and you know or Instagram, like y'all and simply that's how you see. Like he was going live on Instagram talking smack, you know, she was going live like it's like a big battle. One whole time, if like. Your man is not like a social media person. When you guys go through drama, like no one else will know. They're probably just gonna know that you guys broke up. No one will ever know why or what really happened, unless like the social media person puts it out there. Which I don't see why they would do that because it's not a social media relationship. For example, um, Hey Paris and her boyfriend they just got engaged. Congratulations! So, example them. Even if they have a fight tomorrow and they end up like breaking up, we probably won't never know why it really happened, you know? Unless she just come on camera and talk about it. Because her boyfriend is not really like on social media. You know, he's a, he has his own Instagram because he's a person who has an Instagram, but not because like he needs like followers or anything like that, you know? So I think that's the best relationship. And like low key, high key. That's like one of the reason why. That's like one of the reason why. Um, you remember this channel used to be a couple. It was first my channel, then it became a couple, then I became my channel again. Yeah, because her like people who have been in our business so much. I rather have him come here as a guest or just like make videos with me and call it a day then having him come on here you know constantly and stuff like that because you know people get too comfortable and feel like they know so much about you and they actually don't and that's the problem here on youtube like we as fans don't even know much about these people's life but we feel like we know so much to like judge them or pick sides like come on now Let's not do that. You don't really know what's really going down, you know, after the camera is turned off. So, yeah. Um, okay, what other drama was popping here on YouTube? Let me go on my phone, okay? I can, I'm almost done actually with my makeup. You guys see it was pretty quick. But let me see um, what other makeup. I mean, what other. <laughs> sorry. Let me see what other drama was popping here on YouTube. Oh, this is not a couple drama, but um, this is not a couple drama. But what happened with Chris and 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 DDG, the VidCon drama? They said they were gonna fight at VidCon when they meet on site. What happened? Someone tell me down below because I didn't see shit happening, and I knew that was and I knew it wasn't gonna happen. Because you know, most of these social media boys are like all tall. For example, Chris. I don't know him personally, but I feel like, you know, besides, if his friends are not around, he won't be all talked the way he is, you know? So, someone just tell me what happened. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, they're gonna fight. In my head, I was like, they know better than to fight. 
I honestly even don't even think that Chris would I'd be kind of like <laughs> if he was his appearance was not felt like no one knew he was there. I don't want too much, but good. I'm going to work. Yeah. Even if it was a bit con, I didn't feel his appearance. I don't even think he was. But no, like, did you just rather one life talking about some, you know, where you are, we here, we can do that. So, that's that for that drama. And then, <clears throat> the next the next and the last drama I'll be talking about is the one with the Taylor girls. And the girl the girl that they did the prank for, um, what prank was it? Um, adoption prank? Hold on. So, you know, all that, you know, I just feel like for them, I love them so much, first of all, let me just say that out, you know, feel, you guys can feel like I'm just being, you know, unfair saying this, but, you know, you, those girls barely have any clout, you know, they have, they barely have any following and stuff like that, and they, they just want to, you know, have beef with the tele, tele girls. I do feel like, you know, it has something to do with them looking for followers as well like cloud chasing you know so yeah that's how I feel so yes guys um that's it for today's video I'm gonna take my hair wrap out and you know fix my hair and my edges and step out so yeah mm. my hair is so flat I'm gonna fix it well, yeah, that's it for today's video. You know, the drama. That's that's it for today's drama. You know, talk. You got, well, I want to do more. We get ready with me like this. Tell me, guys, in the comment section down below. You know, I just wrap up whatever happened, you know, the week prior with drama and, you know, here on YouTube. Tell me if you guys enjoyed the videos like that so I can do more of them, you know. I was just trying it this time because I'm tired of, like, just, like, posting videos, you know. I want to be able to like talk about it as I'm like getting ready or as I'm doing something, you know. Like you guys just comment down below if you guys like this new series I'm planning on starting on this YouTube, you know. And it's not only gonna be about drama; it's gonna be about like topic like popping, you know. It could be in the news or or anything like that. So I'm gonna fix my edges with my gorilla stars. You guys already know. So yeah, before I do that, let me tell you guys. Bye, so I can make it finish getting ready. Yeah, well, this is not cooperating. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up once again. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys think about this new uh chit chat. Get ready with me that I, you know, talk about, you know, how what's hap has been happening in YouTube or in life in general. You know, it could be YouTube drama. Or positive things that have been happening here on YouTube, you know, that is affecting the YouTube community positively. You guys let me know how you guys feel about this type of video so I can do more or not do none at all anymore. And yeah, uh, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are, if it's your first time watching me, welcome, welcome to the channel. You know, don't forget to subscribe, you know, don't leave until you subscribe. And if you are, it's not your first time watching me. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for coming back and supporting me. I really definitely appreciate that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.